Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Here at Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, we pride ourselves in bringing you the latest and the greatest in stuff for your vehicle. And talk about latest and greatest. This is Bulldog Multibond Adhesive from Clean Strip, just released. And this stuff is revolutionary. Josh, tell me what it does. Sure. Uh, Bulldog Multibond Adhesive is one product that addresses hundreds of different applications in a shop or a garage setting. It is unique in that this can has a built-in applicator. It's a precision applicator that allows you to beat out a professional grade adhesive. You don't need to go find an applicator or clean up an applicator or buy a new piece of equipment. You've got it built in. Um, you actually just unscrew this a little bit to create some leverage on that trigger. And now it's pressurized, so I can start gunning this out right now. When I'm done with it, I screw it down. It'll actually push a little bit of excess material out and it'll plug itself. Next time I go to use it, I unscrew it again and I pull the plug. What are some of the different things Multibond can do? Well, multi-bond is an adhesive, so it's going to allow you to glue virtually any two substrates together, and it's gonna create a permanent bond. The unique thing is you can use it on just about any substrate. So we recommend primed steel or metal because we don't want corrosion to happen, but you could use it on metal, plastic, fiberglass, SMC, glass, porous surfaces. So if you've got wood paneling, or carpet or, or roof liner, you can use it on those su surfaces as well, and it'll stick to everything. The nice thing is it's a hybrid urethane adhesive, and the urethane in it leaves flexibility. So you can spot seam seal with this. If you've got small areas in the trunk or under the hood, or you wanna do a drip rail along a roof, you can use this. It's gonna give you a ton of flexibility, and it's gonna give you the attributes of both the adhesive and the seam sealer. Well, enough talk, let's, let's see how this works. Sure. So I pre-cut a couple of these tips. This is your normal tip that comes on there. And with a pair of scissors or a box cutter, razor blade, you just cut off the tip to the size you want. Two different, a skinny tip and a little bit fatter bead. Whatever you need. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different um, applications. Like I said, give it a little turn. And these are just a couple of applications to replicate what you find on cars um, already. So I can gun some of this on a metal panel. And if I'm looking to replicate a look on the car, I pre-cut a couple little spreaders to create patterns and looks on the car. Oh, that is cool. I mean, it's really simple. Then I wipe off the spreader and clean it up. Now, um, how, how much working time do I have once I apply this? So you have 10 minutes before it skins over. And it's a little bit, it varies a little bit based on humidity and temperature, but 10 minutes is the rule of thumb. Once it skins over, that's your working time or your play time with the product. Once it skins over, leave it alone. We recommend you wait 20 minutes before you paint it, just to be safe. And after about an hour, you can drive the car off the lot, out of the garage, out of the collision center. It's not going anywhere. Um, the adhesive, because it's a, a moisture cure adhesive, it does take several days to fully cure internally. But like I said, you have great initial hold. Just to demonstrate that initial hold, I'm gonna gun some out and it's a porous surface. So I'm just gonna gun some out on a, a brick. <laughs> I wondered what the bricks were there for, holy cow. So. Gun a little bit on a brick, yeah. press them together, nice and firm. I'm gonna let that sit for okay. one minute um, and just show you a couple other tricks. Okay. Another very common application is a controlled bead. I put the tape on here just to kind of keep it clean on both sides. This is something you'd see a tech in a collision repair center do. Yeah. And I can peel one side of this tape just to kind of give you a, a visual. Now I've got a really clean controlled bead. I can do it with the spreader or I can do it with the tape and give myself a finished look. Fantastic. Now that's going on white. Does it stay white? It does stay white. Right now, the only color that we have is white. Um, there is the ability to play with color a little bit, but white actually lets you see the product. So you wanna leave a thin layer 
so that you have adhesive there. And if you squeeze out a little bit too much, you wanna be able to see where you need to clean up around that product. That makes sense. So you've got that 10 minute work time to play with. Gotcha, speaking of work time now, the bricks have been sitting there for a little bit. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's I mean, unbelievable. They're not going anywhere. Oh man, that is cool. That is cool, and then super versatile here. You, you brought the skateboard to show us a curb surface. Curved surface and it's automotive paint on the skateboard. All right. So I just wanted to, to replicate an automotive paint and yep. a curved surface. This is a trim molding from the side of a minivan. So you can see a lot of curves on a door or something like that and this is a perfect application. Mimics that, right? This isn't pretty, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This is great because you don't have to mix it and this, you don't have to go through that hassle. You grab the gun and there you go. Yeah. Now, I don't really want to squeeze yeah. any of the glue out here. I just want it good contact. Okay. And, and if I didn't like it, I can pick it up and move it in the first 10 minutes, wipe the surface clean with some acetone and reposition until I like it. Perfect. And with emblems, I've glued one or two of those on and they kind of get to squirting out of position and everything. And of course, gravity always wins when you, when you glue something like that. Absolutely. How do you solve that problem? Same thing. Little bead. Because this has really good initial hold, and there's a little bit of excess product, but. That is fantastic. And then I've got 10 minutes to clean up the edges uh, if I wanna clean up the edges. And quickly, I, I saw a video on your website that showed this stuff working in the rain. Well, we mentioned it was moisture cure products. So you can use this in a moist, wet environment in the rain or with a wet surface. Bulldog Multibond is gonna change the way you do just about everything at the shop, in your garage, at home, and even around the house. You can check them out at cleanstripauto.com.